it was about four years ago that I did something that I had been meaning to do for months. I created my Instagram account, and on this Instagram account, I was set out to do what every single YouTuber had been telling me to do. Every YouTuber that I watched told me that they had the best methods to building a music fan base, and the methods that they were talking about sounded pretty smart. So what they told me to do was they told me to go on Instagram, go find some people under some certain hashtags, go comment on posts, go like posts, and go engage with people. And in return, after 30 days of doing this, you should build a fan base of a thousand fans now if you're like me and you fell victim to this you probably found out that after doing it for 30 days nothing happens it's the dumbest advice you will ever try out and it is a waste of time and after trying it for 30 days i came to realize that no one gave a fuck about me i had no influence on people no one wanted to listen to the things that i would tell them to do and i just i was so frustrated because i wanted to build a music fan base and i wanted influence i wanted to be a rapper you could say and i wanted people to actually care about what i was telling them to do and i would always see bigger artists have the influence that i wanted and i just never understood why they have influence and they have people who are literally diehard fans that want to give them money but i don't so from that point on i decided to do something that no youtuber talked about no youtuber i don't even think they know the shit that i'm going to tell you in this video i don't even think they're consciously aware that this is shit that you can actually learn but from that day on i decided to learn manipulation so from then on i decided to learn about cults religion and what actually makes people want to listen how do these groups of people actually manipulate people into listening to them because i mean that's kind of what this shit is at the end of the day it's a, it's a cult so why do rappers like lil peep and juice world and x and playboy cardi have these fans that are so diehard for them i studied it and i'm going to teach you it in this video this video is not going to be some generic retarded video on how to build your fan base where i just tell you to go engage with people on instagram no the, the things i'm telling you in this video can be exploited to literally manipulate people and this genuinely will be one of the most probably interesting and life-changing videos that you'll watch but i i have to say this I'm not responsible if you use this in a bad way please don't but i am serious when i say that this shit is deep and you can use this really to your advantage so let's get into it okay so two quick plugs before i actually get into the video and give you all this free information that no one else is gonna fucking teach you i want to plug for myself so if you can get me to a thousand followers it would make me feel really good because the more followers i have the more likely i am to get a response when i dm the bitches that i want to pull so if you want to help me out because i'm helping you out help me out by maybe getting me a fucking girlfriend follow me instagram is right on screen just follow me it takes you five seconds and it'll help me out then also sorry to do this to you i know a lot of people hate when people sell things if you hate when people sell things fuck you i need to make a living off of this shit and i'm giving a lot of value for free so if you want to work with me to build your fan base and you want all of like my private resources where i teach you more things like this in detail because i've studied shit like word of mouth virality all that stuff my webcam died but i've studied all this type of shit if you want to learn from me because I'm a fucking nerd, first link in the description, you can work one-on-one -on -one with me to build your music fan base. I'll show you how to do it. You'll get tons of private videos that I've never released on YouTube. And the next five students who join to work with me do get some extra bonuses. So if you want to jump on that, just click first link in the description. I'll get you results. Costs money. It's not cheap. If you don't want to do it, I don't care. But if you do want the extra help, first link in the description. Anyway, let's get into it. First of all, in order to get cult like fans you basically have to run a fucking cult right like th that's what we're doing here and if you expect to run a cult the cult needs a leader now obviously you're gonna be the cult leader if you're trying to run a cult fan base so what are the actual qualities that you need as the cult leader one of the main and probably the most foundational part of being a cult leader is you need to have a very strong identity all three of these people here on screen have very clear identities that they follow cardi for example follows a very mysterious aura which leaves him to be pretty confusing and left for people to interpret by themselves on their own terms peep follows a sad boy depressed identity and kanye i don't really fucking know anything about this guy but i know he's pretty polarizing and i don't even know if he has a fan base i'm pretty sure he got canceled for some shit but i just put him on here because i i know he's very popular and i'm pretty sure he has some sort of identity going for him so anyway what this means is is that prior to leading people people 
into coming a part of your cult and treating you like a cult leader you need to come up with an identity for yourself people need to attribute something to you now whether it be that you are depressed and you make sad boy music like Pete, or whether it be that you drive a lot of fast cars and you do fraud and you fuck a lot of bitches it doesn't really matter you just need an identity now the reason you need to do this is because you need something that people resonate with if you look at the average i use Pete because it's a very distinct identity if you look at him and his fans the average peep fan is pretty depressed he's pretty antisocial, and he fits into that stereotype like you can tell someone who listens to peep now the reason that he became a fan of peep and the reason he's actually such a diehard fan of peep is because the identity that is attributed to peep is something that emotionally resonates with this guy so because of that, he now puts Peep on a pedestal and essentially treats him like a god because the teenage kid finds comfort in knowing that Peep was just like him and he resonates with him on an emotional level. Now, it sounds fucked up because he's finding comfort in pressing music, but when you break it down at a psychological level, that is exactly what is going on. Now, when you have a strong identity and you know what your entire brand is, and what your persona is, what actually happens in the person's brain is not only do they find emotional comfort in knowing that they can resonate with someone so well but they also begin to integrate part of the artist's identity into their own personality deep down we all know and if you don't want to admit it then fuck you but i know for myself that i want to be cool and i would hope that you can admit and have some humility that you want to be cool as well people every single person wants to be seen as something higher than they actually are and so most people are losers so if you're an artist with a strong identity that people want to live out for example if you have a very strong identity that you're a fraudster people want to seem cool and they want to look like they do fraud meaning that what they will do is they will integrate you into their life because you have the identity that they want to show off now beyond just resonating and getting people to integrate your identity into their life there comes another tactic that people use in cults and that is the us versus them mentality now i'm just going to give you this mentality and let you understand that it is a thing but it's up to you on how you decide to use it for your own music but essentially what us versus them is it's getting someone to emotionally isolate themselves from the people around them and it's making them seem like we are the only way to live like our cult and our aesthetic our identity is the only way to live and people who don't live like us or have the lifestyle that we have are below us and we are above that for example let's say that your identity is based off of doing a lot of fraud like i said when someone starts to integrate your strong identity of fraud and hellcats and all of that stuff into their own life and they use it as a way to seem cool on the outside they now will internally look down on anyone who hates on what we do therefore we can start to isolate them emotionally and separate them from everyone around them and in return what this will do is they will start to defend us fraudsters as a group because this is the cool way to live and that person over there doesn't do fraud they don't understand us they're not as cool as us we're above them we we're just misunderstood they're weird and we are cool this is the only way to live that's how you want <laughs> that's how you want your fans to think about you so when applying this to your music try to implant an enemy inside of people's brain try to have something that people know is evil so that they take your side with things and try to really demonize the the other things that they could consider so for example if you listen to a rapper who gets into a lot of beef for example jace gets in a lot of fucking beef uh if you know who that is you can look him up if you don't know he gets in a lot of beef he's an underground rapper and i don't really think he does this intentionally to make you more of a cult like fan but he gets in a lot of beef and this can raise a common enemy in his fans heads and make he make the fans take his side more often meaning that he can manipulate them way easier because they will continue and continue and continue to just be more and more and more of a fan of him now you could start beef with a lot of people and do something like this if this is how you wanted to implement it but don't get yourself killed or anything like that um it's up to you to figure out how you want to implement this stuff now having a strong identity and 
implementing the us versus them thinking are the two main drivers of why some artists end up having cult-like fan bases and why others don't. If I were to implement something after you watch this video, it would be those two things. Just constantly think of those two things from this point on. Anytime you release a piece of content onto your social media, try to remember those two things so you know you can actually build a cult-like following. But with those two things out of the way, I'm also going to cover some extra things that I've learned while studying cult psychology. And I'm going to be honest with you, these things are pretty hard to actually like add into a music fan base because I just I don't really know how you would do it um but i'm just gonna give you them so that you're aware of them because maybe if you're smarter than i am you'll be able to fucking come up with something um if you do come up with something just leave it in the comments and share it with others so maybe i'll um, be able to help my students more as well because i'm also just trying to learn this shit. but anyway another aspect of creating a cult is having your own type of language i don't mean genuinely creating a whole fucking language to yourself i just mean having certain terminology that your cult members can understand and use for themselves a huge example that I'm going to use is someone who you may or may not know, but he's known for leading one of the biggest YouTube cults recently, and it's Hamza. If you've never heard of this dude, basically one of the key elements to his success and what actually drove him to be popular was the use of specific language. In every single video of his, he started the videos off by comparing this loser guy who gets no bitches to a guy who is basically an alpha male who gets millions of dollars and pulls all the bitches. The way that he labeled these two types of people to compare them with each other was he labeled the loser guy as Jeffrey and he labeled the alpha guy as Adonis. Now, because through repetition, he did this in every single intro of every single video of his for like 700 videos straight, every single person, every single fan of his knows what Jeffrey and what Adonis is and they use it as their own fucking language. Like you'll literally see people use Jeffrey as an insult just because he implemented this into his videos. That is a clear example of cult manipulation. Now, you can very evidently see this with Playboy Cardi, and to be honest with you, I don't think he actually does this to manipulate people into being part of his cult, but he does manipulate his language a little bit when you look on his Twitter, um, and this is an aspect of cult psychology, so I thought I'd just show you that it, it exists. Another aspect of cult psychology is evoking guilt and shame into someone. If you can somehow tell someone that they are less of a human for something that they are doing that doesn't align with your values as the cult leader odds are they will be in more of a vulnerable position to escape pain that they're in of feeling guilty and shameful so they will be more likely to follow what you tell them to do it's kind of fucked up but i mean it's brutal out here bro this is just shit that people can take advantage of and you could too and finally take away people's conscious ability to actually think for themselves once again i don't know how you could use this for a music fan base but it is a manipulative tactic uh, this dude right here, Hamza, does this very clearly in his videos. Not too long ago, and honest to God, it's pretty scary that he knows these tactics because people don't realize that he's using them. But essentially, what he would do in his videos when teaching his worldview and teaching how he thought things should be, he would specifically tell the viewer that because they are not as successful as him and they are not making as much money as him and they don't have as good of a physique as him, they should not use their own brains and trust their own minds and instead they should blindly listen to him because he's more successful and therefore he knows more than them what this essentially does is it essentially makes people dependent on you to listen to you and your advice and it makes it so they literally cannot think for themselves you basically turn off their brains and make them only listen to you it's pretty fucking scary but it is psychology at the end of the day these are all the things that i know about cults uh, this is a pretty touchy subject to be honest with you, but I'm here to share it with you So hopefully this helped you a little bit Let me know you can DM me on Instagram and let me know if there's any specific ways you're gonna implement these to your music I'd love to hear how you are going to use it for yourself if you have any unique ideas or whatever Uh, if you give me like a good idea I'll definitely respond to you if you DM me and yeah Just tell me how you're gonna implement this to your own fan base because I, I really like to see how my videos help So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye